Hi students, welcome to class 6 science, lesson number 2, components of food. Today we are going to see the continuation of lesson 2, components of food. In part 2, we are focusing on deficiency diseases. So what are deficiency diseases? We have to define first before going to the details. So the definition we can give like the deficiency of the main components present in food or you can tell the proper definition as the lack of nutrients present in food. So you are eating some food if that food does not contain proper nutrients that is resulting in some deficiency or disorders. So that is called as deficiency diseases. It is categorized as disorders in some cases. So we will go to details. Here I have written the main deficiency diseases which you are studying in 6th standard. So here the first heading is nutrient. The second one I wrote disorder or deficiency disease. And third one is what are the symptoms caused by these disorders. So first one is C and P. C means carbohydrates. P means proteins. So if a person is having the deficiency of carbohydrates and proteins. It results in a type of deficiency disease called marasmus. Here there is a specific or particular age group affected with this marasmus that is below one year old baby. So this baby is infected. Baby is uh, having this deficiency of carbohydrates and proteins, what happens? The symptoms are retards growth. What is retards means? Less growth. The baby is not growing fast. Then weight loss. The weight is decreasing. So these are the symptoms of marasmus. Second one is protein deficiency. If we are not including protein rich food in our diet, it results in a type of disorder called as Kwashiorkor. So you have to remember this name and you have to practice the spelling of this Kwashiorkor. Then what are the symptoms? Stunted growth. Stunted means growth level is decreasing. So it will be there will be slow in the growth. And the second one is decreased resistance to infection. You are more prone to get infection. You don't have more immunity to resist the pathogens entering to your body. Then next is vitamins. Here vitamin A, B1, B2, B3, B6. So I have just a few vitamins here and the deficiency diseases. So vitamin A is night blindness. Means there is a problem to see things during night or poor vision you can tell. This is one of the symptoms of this night blindness. Not able to see the things properly. Then vitamin B1. So you can remember B1 berry berry. Berry berry. And the symptom is weak muscles. Vitamin B2 aribo-flavinosis. So you have to split the syllable and remember aribo flavinosis. Then what are the symptoms? There are some sores formed on mouth. So you are getting sores on mouth because of less intake of riboflavin that is vitamin B2 in your diet. Then vitamin B3, Pellagra. Pellagra is the name of the disorder of, caused by vitamin B3. And the symptoms are dementia 
and inflamed skin. The skin is more prone to infection. Then vitamin B6, anemia. So anemia always just due to the less production of hemoglobin in your body. So you are feeling weakness. Then vitamin C, scurvy. So you have to include all vitamin C foods in your diet like citrus fruits. The main symptom is gums are bleeding because of this deficiency, vitamin D. So vitamin D and calcium always they are related with the bones and tooth. We have studied this in part 1. So vitamin D rickets. The bones are bending due to the softness. The bones become soft and is bending. Calcium, bone and tooth decay. So resulting in weak bones and decay in tooth. Next one is Next mineral. So after vitamin D, all these three are minerals. So calcium, the next one is iodine, goiter. So you have to include iodized salt in your diet. Then the glands in the neck are swelling. The swollen necks are because of this goiter disorder due to the deficiency of the mineral called iodine. The last one is iron. Anemia is the disorder and the symptom is weakness. So you will be always feeling weak. So in that case you have to include leafy vegetables to get more iron to your body. So all these are the deficiency diseases. So you have to remember the disorder related with the deficiency or lack of each nutrient and what are the symptoms. Thank you. We will see the test for nutrients in third part.